Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and all this week I am going to be talking about brain health. Thursday night of this week we are doing a big workshop on teen anxiety. And it really, the, the principles I'll be teaching there apply to anxiety in general. And one of the things that we're seeing right now in our society is because people's nutritional habits are off, because people's gut is off, because people are sitting over computers all day long, that we're missing key nutrients that our body would naturally produce to keep our brain really happy and really calm. And today I want to talk to you about probably the most significant nutrient that you can possibly uh, change or enhance in your diet to get your brain to function uh, better. And that is magnesium. So I don't know if some of you guys have been tested, some of you haven't, um, but testing for magnesium, it's a simple blood test, really important to know what your magnesium levels are. Let me tell you what magnesium does. Our brain is made up of electrical impul impulses and you need magnesium for these impulses to work properly in two parts of your brain. You need magnesium so that your hippocampus works properly and so that your prefrontal cortex works properly. So the hippocampus, I've talked about this before, and one of the problems that, or one of the things we know about the hippocampus is that this is where memory lives. This is where mood lives. So Alzheimer's patients, they're the ones that end up with a deficit in the hippocampus, whether it's placking or not enough fat in that area or too many toxins accumulating in that area. When the hippocampus isn't working right, then memory and mood will be affected. The prefrontal cortex is your area for goal setting. It's for detailed thought. It's for judgment, your judgment, your hope. This is, I always say that this is like the optimistic part of your brain. And these two parts of the brain need magnesium. So if you're depleted in magnesium, then you're gonna see deficits in those areas. So for example, right now, what we're seeing with magnesium uh, uh, deficiencies is you can find everything from your memory will be off, your decision making capabilities is off, your ability to learn will slow down so you might not be able to retain information as well, it'll affect your moods, uh, it even affects your blood sugar and you will definitely have a more anxious brain if you are, have a deficit in magnesium. So probably the next logical question once you realize that magnesium plays such a key piece is you go, okay, well, what, what would actually cause a deficiency of magnesium in my body? And you're going to be surprised because it's a lot of the things that we're seeing it, it, that our youth is eating, but we're also seeing prevalent in our culture. So things like soda, caffeine, um, prescription medications, even uh, too much exercise. So when you're really demanding a lot of your body, it can, it can cause magnesium deficiency. Um, heavy metals, I've talked a lot on this on how heavy metals are getting passed down, but there's metals in vaccines, there's metals in flu shots, there's metals in our soils. So when you have a, 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 an increase in these types of food and behavior and toxins, then you have a decrease in magnesium. And when you have a decrease in magnesium, you throw off the prefrontal cortex and you throw off the hippocampus. When those two parts of the brain get turned off, you've got depression, you've got anxiety, you've got learning disabilities or learning challenges. Okay, so that's how critical this one nutrient is. So what can you do? So I'm a big fan of testing. Go and ask your, your doctor to test magnesium next time you see them. Or if you're a patient of mine, come on in. We'll talk about how we can test your magnesium. Um, the other thing is start to add in magnesium-rich foods. So things like pumpkin seeds. Now, how many of you are eating a ton of pumpkin seeds? Um, one of my favorite oils right now is Andrea's Seed Oils. You can look it up online. I'll put a link in the bottom of this post. You can look that up and pumpkin seed oil. You can actually get an oil. Have a tablespoon of that every day. Give your teen a tablespoon of that every day. So um, spinach, leafy greens. How many leafy greens? You should, with every meal, you should be sitting down and having some leafy greens um, with, with all of your meals. Like we in my house, we just have a big container of spinach. We have a big container of kale. And every meal, we just pull it out and it goes with every single meal. I would never have a meal without a leafy green in it. The other one that I love are avocados. And a lot of you guys I know are avocado fans, um, but they're high magnesium. And then probably the one that people don't realize that has the most magnesium are um, beans. 
So if you've been following me at all, the keto world, uh, we don't typically do beans as much. Um, but on your feast days, if you've been following me, I'm a big fan of varying. So on your feast days, make sure you're getting black beans and, and lentils. They're very, very high in magnesium. So you can get magnesium from doing two things. One, stop eating these things. Stop the caffeine, stop the soda, stop the, you know, lower your stress. Um, work on detoxing your metals, minimize how many prescription medications you go on, and then come over here and make sure that you're adding these in. That's how you get yourself to start to produce enough magnesium. And once you do that, now you got two parts of your brain that are working incredibly well, okay? So magnesium, the most important mineral for brain function. You now know how you, you get you, it goes away, and now you know how to make it added in. Um, and if you want information about the Teen Anxiety Workshop, just put Teen Anxiety and I will send you a link to the workshop. It's here in my office. We will be live streaming it. So if you want the live stream, put that in the comments as well. Okay? And if, as always, if this is helpful, just put helpful in there because this week I'm going to go deep, deep, deep into brain function and I'm going to go into what nutrients you need to be adding in so that your brain functions normally. Okay? Have an awesome day.